What's going on, family? We are back for another edition of Build and Destroy Daily. On this edition, I decided to show you guys how I built my custom home office desk. Now, this is considered a stand-up desk, and it has programmable controls to set the desk to my desired height. I also added two wireless charging stations and an undermount computer tower platform. So, I posted the clip of this desk build on the internet on social media, and it got a lot of interest. So, I decided to make the desk available for purchase. Not this exact one, but I'll build a few in a limited capacity. So get over to the website. The link is in the description if you want to get yours ASAP. Uh, these won't be available for long, so you know, just click the link and get one if you, if you would like that. And before I go any further, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Got some big things coming up on this network, so subscribe. Help me out. Let's get these numbers up. Now let's get right into this build. So I decided to build a bulky tabletop for my desk. Um, for whatever reason, I just felt like it needed to be hefty. So I used two by four framing studs to actually construct the foundation of my tabletop. I started out by cutting all the frame parts. Then I went ahead and cut the one by four pine boards off camera. The reason I didn't show that is because it's purely for design value and you can customize it any way you want. Here's a basic layout of the foundation of my desktop. To attach my framing members to each other, I decided to use some good old pocket screws. Um, I have a pretty basic pocket hole setup, but it works for the little work that I do in this space. Once our frame is all put together, I wanted to fortify things a little bit with a quarter inch MDF panel brad nailed to the frame. Um, these panels are nailed to the upper side of the frame and um, they will be directly below the top layer. So once the panels are good and nailed on, I had to trim excess material with the circular saw. Here you can see me laying out and attaching my one, one by four pine boards to the surface of my desk. Um, this is a rustic build, so I'm not going to fill any of these brad nail holes. They help to add the char character I'm looking for, so I left them as they are. For the center of my desktop, I decided to go with a chevron pattern. I don't really have a deep meaning behind why I chose that. They just look good to me, so. That's what I chose. Now, once that's all nailed up, I took it over to the circular saw station, AKA my back patio and trimmed the excess wood off. Um, I'm following lines that I made ahead of time with the pencil. You can use a straight edge to get your cuts perfect. You know, clamp the straight edge to your piece and um, let the saw follow. But I'm going for the beauty of imperfection. So my approach was to have some rough, rough spots. My approach with sanding is more of the same. I, I knocked down the highest points just to make sure I had a flat surface to work on but I'm not looking for perfection here. I used an 80 grit sandpaper and I called it a day. I will not be filling any of these gaps or cracks that you see here with wood putty, but you feel free to do so if you want the um, smoothest possible desktop. Moving right along here, I'm using a two and a half inch hole saw to drill the holes for my desk mounted wireless phone charging units. This worked perfectly for me. Standard hole saw you can find at any big box hardware store. Now onto the staining process. I went with the Verthane special walnut water-based stain. Um, no real reason I chose this stain other than the fact that I had some left over from when I was refinishing my hardware floors. Uh, this part that I'm currently staining is the platform that will hold my actual computer tower. People may forget to build some type of component like this when working with the lifting desk. And the last thing you want is for your monitors and other hardware to be lifting while your computer is still on the floor or unattached somewhere else. 
So be sure to have something for your tower if you have a tower. I've been wanting to use some threaded steel pipe for a while in one of my projects and um, this is finally the perfect time to do it. I'm spray painting the pipes flat black to ensure an even color. These will be used to mount my computer tower platform under the desk. Got my can of uh, spray on polyurethane to seal and protect the desktop. I did three coats, but um, you can do as many as you need to to get the results that you're looking for. Remember, do not do this in an enclosed space. Make sure your space is well ventilated. Before mounting the desktop to your frame, make sure the desktop weighs well below the max load capacity for your frame. My frame's capacity is about 175 pounds. And um, since this is the heaviest component at 66 pounds, I'm confident that the computer monitor, accessories, the platform, everything else is under 100 pounds combined. So we're good when it comes to the load capacity. I drilled pilot holes to make sure I didn't split any wood. There are four mounting holes on each side of the frame, so you want to make sure to put a screw in every hole. I use number 10 one inch screws for this setup. This is the step where I use one and a half inch screws to attach my undermount platform to the desk. Of course, these aren't the right screws, but they did the job for me. Uh, you'll get better results if you use flathead screws. Not to be confused with the screws to be used with the flathead screwdriver. I didn't show this step, but you'll need to also find a good spot to mount your programmable pad to lift and lower your desk. Now, each wireless charging module will be different, but they're all simple, so I won't spend much time on this. I will say, though, make sure you test the charging ability before permanent mounting of this device. I tested both charging stations with my phones, including the heavy-duty OtterBox cases. I had no problem charging at all. And here's a close up of what the programmable control panel looks like. Very nice LED display on the one I have. And there you have it, finished desk. Everything moves properly, it's smooth. Please subscribe for more content. We're gonna be doing a lot of big things with the channel. So make sure you subscribe and come back. Thanks for watching.